Hi guys, Ben here, and today I'm just gonna jump outside, it's Sunday, and go and find some mushrooms. Uh, I've recently bought, I'll show you in a minute, uh, a new uh, mushroom book from the legend that is Mr. Paul Stamets, um, all about psychedelic mushrooms, actually, interestingly enough. Um, obviously, this is for learning purposes only, uh, but I think I found a, a patch growing of a really sort of obscure magic mushroom that I've never seen before. But recently having bought this book, I saw the picture that looked very similar to the mushroom that I found. And so basically I'm gonna go and try and find that spot again and look to see if I can do some pro proper identification of it. So uh, watch this space. So we're now in the woods. I won't say exactly which woods they're in. Somewhere in South London. If you're local, you'll be able to guess probably. And uh, just heading over to where this magic mushroom suspected spot is. Uh, but yeah, we're just checking out this lake whilst we can here. It's nice, see if we can get any uh, wildlife action. Okay, so found the spot in these secret woods and um, there's just a, a massive, this is obviously where the people that look after these woodlands and uh, there's a lot of horse riding that goes on here as well. So it's where they come to dump their like straw and also loads of their horse manure as well. And uh, just down there is like the mother load of sawdust dumping, which is like the perfect little um, nursery for all sorts of mushrooms. I've been here a few months ago and we got a, one type of mushroom popping up. Um, came back a few weeks ago and we got another type. This is where I saw the uh, what I think now is a, um, a lesser known magic mushroom, which we're gonna find out today. And um, hopefully when sort of the weeks go on and we get in further into autumn and more rain dumps down, we might see other types of mushrooms pop up there. So I'll keep coming back to this spot and um, keep seeing what pops up. So let's let's go have a look. I'm excited. See if anything new's popped up. I can already see some stuff. I think they've come and dumped more um, stuff actually on top of uh, loads of mushrooms that were growing, so might be out of luck. Yeah, sadly, it looks like they've dumped loads of new sawdust stuff on top of loads of these shrooms that had grown. No worries, I'm sure there'll be some around here, which there are, just not the ones I was hoping for. <laughs> I think, I think I've just found the ones I was looking for. Looks like they've gone past their best a little bit and now they're completely sodden. 
but um, let's have a look, see what we can find. Here's one big pile. Some of these are okay to, to, to take actually, they look quite fresh. I'm going to try and just brush away most of the uh, debris. I've got some brown paper bags in my bag which I'm going to put these in in a second. And uh, from some of the bigger specimens I'm going to take a spore print. Luckily I took some pictures from when these were fresh and weren't soaked in water. Um, so the coloration is going to be slightly different which is good because it will give me a, a more sort of rounded picture of what these might be. So I'll just take a few more. In fact, I'm going to take a big bunch, just in case. One bag ready to go for identification, and um, who knows, could be surprised. Maybe they are magic mushrooms, maybe they're not. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find out what they are regardless. I've just seen... I've also just seen something as well, another mushroom I've not actually seen here. Literally just sprung up close to where this new um, like wood chip has been dumped. And here it is. Very interesting little shroomy. No idea. We'll leave that one. Try and focus on just the one species to identify today. Maybe, maybe some more. Let's go and see what's around over here on the other side. There's a few more um, yellow looking mushrooms over here just pick this one not such a yellow cat but look underneath so I might take a couple of these as well maybe a slightly bigger specimen just to see if we can take a spore print and get a bit more educated see what it is so I'll take maybe a couple more Look at those three growing together. Little bit wet and soggy, but it's all good. Take that more drier sample as well. Just try and keep this the base of it actually, but oh well. Let's see what those are. There we go. Massive. I've seen those before, I've ID'd them. Um, can't remember what they are, put it up on the screen. Yeah, you can see a bunch of babies coming out here as well. Oops.
tiny little thing just starting to pop up. Oh, another tiny, tiny. Very small. to grow. Look at these. What is this? A load of flies around it. Wow. Poor. Smells pretty funky. A little spider. Go on, let's have a look at. Wow. Let's see what gills it's got. Very interesting. I'm going to take a bigger one, just so I can... It's all growing from the same base. Wow! Look at these! Look at these! Oh. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. So white. Oh. This stuff's interesting as well. So literally just walking up this path now, main, main path with everyone on, and look what I found! Oh, it's a giant one! Massive chicken in the woods.
absolutely chuffed with that find. It was quite a big one as well. I didn't take that much, but um, yeah, gonna get some nice gourmet mushrooms out of this little trip. So we'll cook those up later and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those. Nice. So yeah, I'm just leaving this uh, woodland now because sort of found quite a lot of mushrooms in a short space of time, but it's quite keen to also go and check out another woodland today um, in South London area. So just walking back to the car now and uh, I'll see you at the next woodland. Boom, back in the second woods, finally. See that massive chicken in the woods in the oak tree behind me? I only just started um, walking through these woods. Well, it's actually a massive public park in South London, Richmond Park. I thought I was planning to go somewhere a bit further, but this was just next door, more or less, to where I was. So I uh, found a few things already, but just switched the camera on and big chicken in the woods. Let's see what else we can find. Some deer up ahead. Probably can't see them quite dark. Probably gonna run off when they see me in a second. Nearly, nearly missed these little bad boys. There's a few more small ones here. They look rather like little fairy rings, but I'm not sure. Might just take one or two. Just stumbled across some more wood chip on the ground. Have a look. And what have I found? There's some more wood chip. Don't know what's happened. Maybe they've filled it in where a tree used to be. But look at these little bad boys. Just here. Very tiny. Try and take a couple, try and ID them. What have I seen here? So you see that log just there? I can see a white thing inside it. What is that? Look at those mushrooms growing in there. Look at these. Whoa. They are massive. What are these, man? Whoa. 
the size of that? Ginormous. Crikey. That is massive. just by the side of the road now and I've just spotted this big ring of mushrooms going all around here these are probably fairy rings you can see it going all the way around here look at it it's massive it's keeping on going it's still going around here any any around here oh yeah look another one here Look at that. And I can see more over here as well. Look at those. Going off around here in a bit of a ring. The big belete. Oh, there's three there. Let's just take the small one, eh? No, go on, let's take this one. Look at that. Look at that. Bruising blue. Look at that. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Look at that. Juicy little belete. I don't think that's a, I'm not sure if that's an edible. I will uh, do some checking afterwards. But I'm not sure that one is. Let's just leave those. There's a few more around it. That is a cool find. A very cool find. Interesting. Look at that. Little beauty. <laughs> Pretty sure these might even be the false chanterelle. Some sort of funnel mushroom. Look amazing. Whoa. Okay, so that was a pretty good um, little foraging find there. Found a fair few mushrooms. Um, taken a few back, as you can see. Um, mainly just to try and triple check, double check, um, and get the IDs, get the ID right. Maybe take a few spore prints. Um, just about to leave this sort of. Um, is it park and 
there's a tree over there there's a big stub a big oak tree and um i saw it on the way in but didn't didn't film it didn't photo photo it but there's loads of people climbing over it at the moment so i'm gonna quickly shoot that before i leave and then um it's back home and we're gonna do some um spore prints um try and identify some of these mushrooms if they uh, stay in one piece and from the mushrooms we found earlier as well which i'm even more excited about to find out if that is actually a magic mushroom huh Big chicken in the woods. Hi guys, so um, today is the second day after that first video, um, bank holiday Monday and Danny and I went out for another little walk around uh, Box Hill in Surrey which was actually really really nice and uh, so I'm just adding on the, this content because uh, Danny, eagle eyed Danny found these lovely beauties, can you believe, absolute amazing. Um, I believe this is the summer sep. Um, it looks very much like um, the summer sep. And just waiting to cut into that now. That's what I'm set up to do now. But we also found some of these, which I'm not sure if you can see, but they've got completely red pores underneath. This is a, um, I can't remember what type of belete. It's a type of belete. I'm gonna cut into it as well in a second. I don't think this is the type that turned blue immediately, but I did slice off the bottom earlier and it's gone dark now. So um, I will get the real name of that later, but possibly a really good edible, um, possibly not, just gonna double check. Uh, we found these little, basically like little field mushrooms. Um, so they're gonna go in the pot, pretty good. And we also found uh, a couple more, found a couple more little chodes. Um, and we also found, and they're sort of hiding at the moment, but I've, I've got the, um, I'll just show you, I've got the, in fact, I'll bring it up to the camera. This is the cap of what I suspect to be a Liberty cap. I've not probably found too many of these before in the past, at least not being confident about identifying it, so. Just got that going on the bit of paper now, doing a spore print. And I'll just show you what's going on. Danny's just come back in, as you can hear. So this is um, what we found yesterday. This is what I suspected to be a lesser known magic mushroom, but I've since looked in the books and I'm not sure it is. Um, I'll try and remember and post it over the video what its name was, but these guys are, look at the spore print on that one real rusty orange color. So I'm gonna try and figure out what those are. And this was that really nice white one. Uh, it's a bit dark, but you can see it's just sort of, looks like it's coming up with a sort of a paley white. It's not really dropping all of its spores. And this was the fairy ring champignon. So two of those caps and the fairy ring does leave a white um, spore print. So that is that is proving to be accurate. And these are just a couple of the other ones. We had, so hello Danny, I'm just telling our viewers, our million strong audience of your amazing, yeah I wish, your amazing find, the summer set, I mean what's the date today, the date is 1st of September, 31st of August, 31st of August and we found a beaut and there's, there's another one as well. Absolutely amazing, going to cut into this now and see what it's like inside, it feels pretty firm, uh, there may be a few maggots in there, but uh, depending what it's like, I'm either going to cook it up fresh or I'm going to just slice it into nice big thick ribbons and then dry that in my dryer dehy dehydrator and uh, enjoy it for months and months to come. So let's cut into that now. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that video episode. It was a bit of a mishmash of um, videos and foraging and mushrooms and um, not hugely organized from a videographer point of view, but 
hopefully it was fun to watch and if you've watched till the end thanks you're awesome um do give it a thumbs up give it a like give it a share give it um and a subscribe if you want to see more i do plan on getting better at the video making uh because i actually really really enjoy doing it um and i've just upgraded a cap got a better camera and uh, i basically just love taking good videos and pictures of mushrooms and um it's just just really really interesting for me so um I have no doubt that it will all improve over time, but uh, you know, this is the beginning, this is the journey, so that's what it, it is what it is. So thanks for sticking with me, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care for now. See you later.